Howdy, and welcome back to Opera Shred. Today, we're going to one of our favorite areas, City Lake in Siloam Springs. City Lake is great because it's got a pump track, it's got mountain biking trails, it's got kayaking, it's got a frisbee golf course, and it's got a crushed gravel trail for running. Today, we're going to do the Gatsanula and Wango Tango Loop. We're gonna to go to the right, beginning in the parking lot off of Taylor Orchard Road. This is to the north of City Lake. This trail is rated blue, and you can see the snow on the trail today. It's really rocky, but it's not that technically difficult. And one thing the locals love about this trail is that it dries out really quickly. So we're gonna to stay to the right today, and we're gonna continue on Gatsanula and cross the bridge. The trail doesn't have a ton of elevation, rather just a series of punchy uphills and quick downhills. There's a small green loop called Osage Flats, which is to the right. For this loop, we're gonna to stay to the left and we'll cover Osage Flats later. One thing that's great about this trail is that there are a series of fast, flat curves. It's a great place to work on your cornering technique. As we come up over the next series of hills, you'll see another trail fork for Osage Flats. It is a loop and it has two exit points onto Gatsanula. Again, we're gonna stay on Wango Tango and Gatsanula Loop today. Gatsanula feeds into the Wango Tango Loop, which really starts at the road marker there. You're going to follow Taylor Orchard Road and then begin a series of uphill burns. Because this is a loop, you can ride it either way. And you'll see when you're riding that you'll pass a kicker going uphill. You can hit that coming downhill and then there's a corresponding kicker on the other side of the hauler. The Wango Tango Loop weaves its way in and out of four different haulers. As you climb to the top of each corresponding hill, there are a series of tight curves on the trail. These are rooty and rocky and great practice for those of you that are wanting to progress beyond green trails or give yourself a slightly more difficult challenge. As you wind your way down into the second hauler, you'll see a small stone kicker, very similar to the one you passed on the uphill.
each exit from the haulers are small, punchy climbs. It's always good to downshift once you've enjoyed the descent because they don't last very long and a corresponding punchy climb is always there to greet you. There are two features that we're not going to cover in this video and they'll be covered shortly in a future video. And that's the pump track, which is a paved pump track for all kinds of bikes and often scooters. We'll feature that later. Additionally, there is a downhill course. So you'll know when you're in the right parking lot off of Taylor Orchard Road, when you see three different drops. These are wooden drops off to the left of the parking lot as you're pulling in. That's the bottom or exit point for a small downhill course called Simon's Descent. Simon's Descent is not rideable in wet weather as it ruins the jumps. So we're going to cover that when it's a bit drier outside. The Gatsanula and Wango Tango Trail is around three miles in total length. Another great feature about City Lake is that it's only five minutes north of Siloam Springs. On a cold day like today, you can load up after your ride and head to Poor John's downtown. It's a great coffee shop with great music, and it's a great way to warm up and talk about the ride with your friends. After the third hauler, you'll come across a small rock garden. This part of the trail is great riding either direction, as there are a series of rollers and other small features.
As you enter the final descent, you'll have a decision, a high line or a low line. The low line is a small technical stone feature. It's easily rideable and adds a little spice to the trail. As we descend into the final hauler, you're gonna see some signs for a drop. Pay attention. To the left, you'll have a rock drop, and to the right, you'll have a ride around. Today, since it's snowy, let's take the drop. It's just a couple of feet, and it's a fun feature. Again, not too dangerous, but if you've only been riding greens up until this point, you might wanna skip that feature today. We're coming back now to the intersection where we first started. Instead of going left, we're going to continue right. This is the proper way to finish Wango Tango. It's a series of small, punchy climbs with tight berms. You'll come upon another fork, this one heading back to the right behind you. This is how you get to Simon's Descent Downhill Trail. Today, we're just going to finish Wango Tango, so we'll go ahead and take this descent back down to the parking lot. This is a fast, small descent, but it does have a tight corner. You can see the three drops off to the right. And here we are, back to the parking lot. Now, as I mentioned earlier, let's go look at Osage Flats and the Enchanted Forest Connector Trail. I'm gonna go ahead and speed quickly through the Gatsanula Trail, which we covered earlier. There are some riders off in the distance crossing the bridge. Again, we're gonna head to the right, stay on Gatsanula, cross the bridge, take the punchy uphill climb. This time, we'll be looking to take a right at the fork onto the green Osage Flats Trail. This trail is a loop it's got two exit points to either put you back on Gatsanula or to put you on Wango Tango. This is a great trail for new or younger riders that are just testing out mountain biking. It's nice and flat, but it's got a few roots and a few rocks to give a little bit of a challenge. Just to get it on tape, I'm gonna ride the full loop. So I'll do a turnaround here on the Wango Tango Trail. So as we reach the end of Osage Flats, I'm going to go ahead and turn around so I can capture the footage of the remainder of the trail. 
This was the trail marker we saw before when we were coming down Gatsunula and had skipped the previous fork onto Osage Flats. From this direction, you do have a little bit of climbing, nothing significant, and then the trail flattens back out. to your right to get back on Gatsunula and head back to the parking lot, and you go to the left to stay on Osage Flats. I'm going to speed through this since we literally just covered it, but in order to get to Enchanted Forest, we've got to ride this section of Osage Flats. This time, as we reach the end of Osage Flats, let's take a right. So here we go. Now, instead of staying to the left at the next marker, we're going to go to the right and we're gonna cross Taylor Orchard Road. This is the Enchanted Forest. And while it might not look very enchanted right now, during the spring and summer, it is full of dark forest, dark leafy green trees. It's quite beautiful and quite enchanted, as its name suggests. What's cool about this trail is even when it doesn't look too enchanted in the winter, you do get to ride a series of bridges. These bridges go to the pump track. So right now we're headed south, paralleling the lake, and we're heading back to one of the main parking lots, which we'll cover in a future video. These trails are a lot of fun, and the connectors between the trails aren't too difficult. All right, well, that was a fantastic ride. Thanks for joining us. We'll cover Simon's descent and the pump track in a future video. Go get yourself a coffee at Poor John's and shred well, my friends.